This is the kind of sewing machine that every guy wants, and I'm going to tell you why. I sell sewing machines. I talk to a lot of people. Typically, what I hear, first of all, they have decided that they want to make the leap into industrial sewing machines. Nine out of ten guys that call me are guys. Nine out of ten want to do boat seats car upholstery, a wallet, and they want to know what machine to get. This machine is the prototypical walking foot sewing machine that every guy wants. So that's not literal, but 9 out of 10 want a machine just like this. And I'll talk about why. So the console is not the only game in town. Uh, I think probably the Singer 111 started it all off. The Singer 211, Juki, LU-562 and the LU-563. Now they're making a, Juki's making a 1541. Those are good ones to start with. Those are all kind of the same type of uh, unison feed or triple feed, depending on who makes it and what they call it. The Konso is made in Japan. It's made by Seiko. It's a quality machine. These are fairly common and you can get parts for them and they're well made. If you look on the bottom of this machine, Seiko is actually part of the casting on the bottom of this machine. Also some of the parts say Seiko. They made machines for Konso for a long time. They are now making this machine under their own name. I have another video made with this exact machine where I changed some lubrication out in a couple gearboxes. In that video you can see the quality of the materials, engineering, and assembly. This machine is real easy to set the stitch length. I think you can see right here, this is an R. This is a zero, and right here is F. So forward, reverse, and nowhere. Besides the zero demarcation, which is here, there are five more, and that's one through five millimeters. So if you have it set it's on the first demarcation, you're gonna be sewing at one millimeter, and you're gonna reverse in one millimeter real easy to adjust. It's got a nice clicky detent. We'll go down to five and now it goes up farther so it reverses five millimeters. That's a real nice feature. So here we are at the business end of the machine. People talk about a walking foot sewing machine and that only partially describes the feeding mechanism of a machine like this. So this machine actually has three forms of feeding mechanism. First is drop feed, second is needle feed, and third is walking foot. So as the foot and the needle come down, the drop feed's coming up and they meet, the outside feet lift, and the material moves back. It's at this point that the feet alternate. So the outside feet go down, and while that's going on, that's holding this material in place. This is what you want when you want to do upholstery, car seats, boat seats, wallets. You want that ability to hold multiple layers of material together as they're being moved through. And by plunging that needle through, it's like pinning it every time. You might be a little concerned about manual lubrication versus automatic lubrication but if you're like nine out of the ten guys that I talk to and I fall into that category in practice the manual might actually be better for us so with a automatic lubrication machine you need to run your machine at near full speed so when you're doing a wallet you want to go really slow any sort of a pump that's in the bottom of the machine is not going to spin fast enough to lube the top of a machine when you're just creeping along making wallets. The manual, it's super easy. It's just whenever there's a red dot, it's just one drop of oil. Boom. Here's one. One drop of oil. These are oil ports. You don't sew every day. That's cool. You don't oil them every day. If you come back to it two weeks later, boom, you just hit those oil points and you're ready to go. 
Another reason this machine is so great is that it has big bobbins. Now this bobbin right here is the same size bobbin that goes into a Singer 211, another very popular walking foot sewing machine. So while these may not look a lot different in diameter, uh, this one's also thicker. These big bobbins are double capacity of what this is. So when you're doing car seats or something, you want to use big thread. You're dealing with construction methods that need to be stronger than, say, underwear. For some of the top stitching, you want that stitching to be noticeable. So you need bigger thread. So when you have this standard size bobbin and you go and you start putting larger diameter threads on it, you can't get as much wound on there. What happens is you have to change bobbins more frequently during your project. So if you use a double capacity bobbin, you change your bobbins half as much. And that's a good thing. So this is great for all kinds of stuff. Like denim. Okay, that's three layers and here's here's six. And then uh, we just go right into some webbing. We can do three layers of webbing. We can do leather. So they do all this. Pretty good stuff. So what you're looking for in a walking foot sewing machine is actually three forms of feeding mechanism. Drop feed, walking foot, needle feed. Manual lubrication is okay. Auto's cool, but manual is good too. You want to know what size your bobbins are. Big bobbins are a good thing. You want to make sure that you buy a quality machine, one that you can get parts for and repair. Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel.